Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to talk about the top three mistakes that I see so many people do when they're trying to perform intermittent fasting on an everyday basis, such as the 16-8 method, which is fasting for around 16 hours and having an eating window for around eight hours. If you don't know about this method, I highly recommend that you do some research up online and I will put a link for a video here where I talk about it more in detail and why it's so amazing for weight loss. And these three mistakes that I'm gonna mention are some mistakes that I've made on my intermittent fasting journey when I started it around seven months ago or so. So yeah, I know from personal experience and I can tell you how you can avoid this so you can actually stick to intermittent fasting on an everyday basis to help you gain the greatest benefits and sustain them long-term mentally and physically, holistically. And the first reason I find, which is a really simple, easy one to resolve, is not drinking enough water throughout the day. Because you're not consuming food, you need to be drinking enough water throughout the day to make sure that you are hydrated enough and what you're going to find is it's actually going to reduce and also allow your body to completely eliminate any hunger pains that you're getting. So I find by staying very hydrated and times where I may start to feel slightly hungry, I drink a lot of water and then I start to feel no desire for food and any hunger pains go completely. So make sure that you're drinking enough water. It varies from person to person how much water you need to drink. I'm not going to tell you how much to drink, but just be very in tune with your body and make sure that you're not dehydrated and that you are drinking enough plain water throughout the day to meet your bodily needs. Because water is also key for removing toxic waste and also dying cells from the body. And when you are doing fasting, it is removing a lot more toxic waste from the body. So to actually carry it out from the brain and all parts of your body, you need to be drinking enough water to flush them all out. Number two, not eating enough calories. I see so many people try and massively restrict their calorie intake whilst doing intermittent fasting. And I do not promote calorie restriction whatsoever. Because if you're not eating enough food, you will find that you don't have as much energy as you possibly could. And you're also gonna find that cravings kick in a lot easier because you're not meeting your body's needs for the fuel that it needs through the macronutrients, but also the micronutrients, such as the vitamins and minerals. So make sure that you are eating an abundance of food when you are eating during that eight hour eating window. Because I found when I started at certain points to not eat as many calories and I'd stop eating during that eating window and it would come to the end, I found fasting for 16 hours so much harder. I felt so much more hungry and I had a lot more cravings and my energy levels were not as high and my cognitive function was not as good as well. And I do highly recommend eating an abundance of nutrient rich foods rather than those are garbage foods because you're going to be providing your body with a lot of those micronutrients that I've mentioned that's just going to make you feel a lot better overall. And the more nutrient dense a food is, the longer you will feel satiated for. So this is absolute key. I cannot stress this enough. And when I say nutrient dense foods, I mean foods that are provided for us by nature in their whole form. So things such as fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and many other different foods out there that are plant-based that just are so nutrient rich and they're easy to digest as well. They're really high in water content, really high in fiber. So they are really, really good for your health overall. And if you're concerned that you'll be eating too many calories, do not be concerned because when you're in the fasting state, your body is burning the body fat as fuel. So for me, I still eat around 3,000 calories a day and look how thin I am. Got the V cut and everything. Like you can see my abs very clearly. There's of no issue whatsoever. So I found with intermittent fasting, I can still have a very low body fat percentage and not count calories whatsoever, which I find personally counting calories does my head in. It's too much. I have enough going on in my life as it is already. So it just makes my life a lot easier with eating. And the third reason I find is people not creating an eating schedule and sticking to it to the best of their ability. Because a lot of people will not do this and then you can find it a lot harder to sustain it. 
So for me, I actually do around 20 hours of fasting rather than 16 hour methods. I used to do the 16 hour method, but now I do around 20 hours. And I find that I need to stop finishing eating around 7 p.m and start eating the next day around 3 p.m. If I start to eat later around 8 to 9 p.m. and I have to push the fast back to 4 to 5 p.m. I find it so much harder to actually push it to that length of time and eat that much later in the day. So from my own personal experience, it is absolutely bad news because our bodies get used to eating at specific times. So if you're messing the times around and switching it all up, your body gets very confused. And I found quite a few times I need to break the fast early if I'm meant to be in an hour or two later than I normally would do. So try and find out what works for you, experiment with it. This is what I did and find out what eating schedule works best for you with your fasting schedule and stick to it to the best of your ability. I understand just like myself, we all have very busy lifestyles, so you may not be able to stick to this spot on every single day, but just do the best that you can do. And one last thing I will add is, if you're new to intermittent fasting, because your body is getting used to a new way of eating and restricting its eating window, you may find this difficult at first, but follow all of these steps that I've mentioned to correct these three common mistakes that I see a lot of people do. Because from my own personal experience, when I started doing the 16 8 method about seven months ago, before switching to the 20 hour method about a month ago, is that sticking to all of these things very, very strictly and not making the mistakes that I found it easy to do from day one. So, yeah, I highly recommend that you do what I've done because it's worked for me and I'm sure that it will work for you. I coach many people around the world and it seems to have worked very effectively for them to sustain intermittent fasting long term. So yeah, it's as simple as that. Give it a go and see how it works for you. I absolutely love intermittent fasting. It makes me feel absolutely amazing. It boosts things such as human growth hormone by up to 2,000% in men and women around 1,300%, which increases muscle mass and it reduces bodily fat, which will help you go in the direction of achieving a leaner body, but with a lot more developed muscles. And it has a wide array of other amazing benefits as well, as proven through scientific research. So yeah, if you have any questions, as always, leave them down below and I get back to you as soon as possible. I love answering your questions. And if you have any feedback on this video, please leave them down below. And like the video, if you like it, if you don't, give us a thumbs down, I don't mind either way. All feedback is good feedback in my eyes. And yeah, please share this video with anyone that you think needs to hear about this valuable information that I shared with you today because it may help them stick to intermittent fasting and get it to work the best for them. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis where I'm talking about intermittent fasting and all the amazing benefits that you can get from it and all the different things that you can do to sustain it long term and get it to work the best for you. And many videos where I will be showing you intense fitness exercises using calisthenics moves to achieve the body type that you desire and the fitness levels and reduce the body fat and so many other videos to just help you go in the direction of getting stronger, getting healthier, getting the body you desire and reducing that body fat in the most natural, safe and effective ways for you. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for them if that sounds good for you and make sure that you hit the bell button next to the subscribe button to actually get email notifications of when new videos come because if you don't, you will not be notified by email. So yeah, stay strong, stay fit and go and get those gains. Peace.